I, I started out acting when I was 12 years old at the Royal Dramatic Theatre in Stockholm. And I think that was kind of the turning point when I realized that you know, this big passion could also be work and you could also get paid for doing a big passion. And for me that was like, this sounds all that great. <laughs> Yeah, for me, uh, I think it was actually, I, I spent a year in California. I actually studied something more, more science, uh, computers. That was sort of my, my direction that I thought that I would like. Uh, but, you know, I, I tried to make some films when I was, you know, a, a kid. And then I ended up in a school in the U.S. that sort of had focus on, on media. And I was like, oh, and then I felt this sort of, yes, here it is. This is what I want to do. So after that, I, I you know, moved back to Sweden and started studying for it, so it was sort of a rediscovery. Oh, it, it, that feels amazing. Yeah. Uh, it, it was something that you know, we had discussions with SVT uh, and a number of uh, 800, that was sort of the, if we made 800, that was great, that was a hit. If we made the million, that would be, you know, huge success it was it's crazy one you know it, it, you know we were never talking about it. it's like now you can't reach a million that's insane and then we actually you know it's one point it's more than 1.5 in the first episode uh and when we got that number it was we sort of doubled you know the, the sort of expected uh, great number that we might have had so so it was uh, it was it, sort of a, not a shock but as like, because we all really believed in it ourselves and everybody that we showed it to or we talked or just read the script was like oh i love it so you know everybody really really liked it also a bit proving the business wrong because people were like we love the show but we think it's too like you know narrow and you know specific and it has this like new element to crime drama that we think might just not be and was so great proving everybody wrong that people were ready for something new and wanted to see something slightly different from the typical crime that you could see in Sweden. You know, this was maybe it has like another universe and another like layer to it than those series. So we were just very happy to to be able to to show them wrong in a way. Yeah. <laughs> The mature themes. Um, well, oh, that's a hard question. Um, Especially like low sanguine yeah. and um, relationships and like fucked up relationships. <laughs> yeah, but I guess yeah, there's themes that go out throughout the storyline actually, and uh, also it was also so much fun not to work with a series that sort of had like one murder for each episode and like a body and like a, you know this typical way of telling a crime story this is much more a story as a whole and not being cut off by little like different stories this is like have a big story to it in a way and that was such a treat to play out as an actress that you really got to follow through with the emotions and with the journey and with everything and um i don't it's really bossy of you to start off with this <laughs> yeah. mature subject. Actually, yeah, we wanted to, because the story is so, sort of, um, it, it, it's so, it is a deep story, and it, it sort of, like, hits you in the chest. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 it does, yeah, exactly. Uh, and, and, True. Yeah, exactly. We, we, but we, <laughs> we wanted to, to, uh, uh, to, if you want to drag someone into a story, you need to start big, you know? Uh, if you, because it, it, you know, this this theme follows the whole series, and many characters are driven by the same, you know, sort of uh, thing, but in their own way. Uh, so, so we wanted to, to 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 take the audience hand and pull them in. It's like you're gonna be. This is gonna be a thrill. This is gonna be a ride. You are you ready for this? You know. Uh, and and so starting off with with all those sort of yeah the, the grief process. I mean that that's that's it's hardcore, <laughs> uh, and 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 but the series is hardcore. I mean it's we go all the way, and 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 we we, we you know the story sort of leads this way, but we sort of take a sidetrack, and having the audience feel that emotion early, uh, I think we we easier can sort of turn them to where we want them to go, uh, and and surprise them. So if you think that Eva's like 
first shot in the chef, in like the first scene, it's like the worst thing that's gonna happen to her throughout the series. That's not true. No, <laughs> no that, that was like the easy. Yeah, that was yeah, like yeah. The, oh, <laughs> shot in the chef. <laughs> Actually, that, that's a, uh, I just talked about that this, the other day about the influences. I think I, I counted six TV series that are influences. And, and then I, I'm, I can continue with other films or other you know, books or comic books or, or paintings. Uh, uh, there's so much influences and, and actually our own sort of uh, Swedish mythology stories also an influence in this. Uh, so there's so many that we wanted, that, that we just, you know, sort of took together, but we did build our own universe. So we don't want to say it's like this or it's like that or, or it has a touch of this. We, it, this is something new. Uh, and so maybe in a few years people will say, oh, it's like yours, God. Uh, so, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, of course we, we had, uh, we, we know how to, to tell a story and we, of course, learn from other storytellers and, and you know, so the industry always involves, not not involves, evolves <laughs> in, in how to tell a story. And we are really, you know, we watch all the new stuff also. And, but also, though, you know, Twin Peaks has always been mentioned, sort of, and we also do a homage in it uh, with the, the pie. <laughs> okay, well, uh, so, um, so yeah, it's a lot of influences, but, but definitely something new. Yes. Yes, yeah, so yeah. like folk tales, and, but I guess the whole world had, you know, the Brother yeah. Grimm stories, and, you know, the kind of fairy tales that was so dark before Disney come, come in and, like, painted it all over with, like, bright colors, but, you know, the fairy tales has an element to it of being really grim and being really, like, dark and really yeah. being, but when you combine, it's like, you know, this series, they returned, which I love, that the one from French, you know, the French one. Yeah, the French, that have announced, you know, that, that's a series that I can kind of compare to yours, Scott, because it has this kind of different element that combined with the relationships between people, that becomes something that feels real, because it's like really, um, you weigh down in a real relationship with people amongst them. So it's, you know, it's not like this crazy other theme, it's like something that's intervened with the relationship and the drama. And then it becomes really moving because it's about people. It's not about crazy things that happens because you know you care for the characters. <laughs> well, I mean, for me, uh, this is my first series ever, uh, and same for Hendrik, the, the the writer and the creator of the show. So for us, yeah, we want to do more. <laughs> uh, but Moa, you have sort of. Yeah, I've been like uh, in. I've, I've been dipping my toes into like every genre, so that's really fulfilling. Not to just being stuck with some genre, some character, but being able to move like throughout the genres and really pushing yourself, you know, towards playing something new. Um, yeah, so it's always important for me as an actress to really, okay, how is this act, you know, character different from the one I played before, and how does this character look, and how does she? you know, see the world and, you know, so, so you don't just walk around playing yourself all the time and like being a typecast. So, so that's important for me actually to, to evolve all the time. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 a lot. But it, we, we shot this thing for about eight months. Uh, so it was a very long time and it's sort of, in my head, it's sort of like this big blob in my head yeah. like yeah so it, it's actually tough to, to find these special moments i i, I have a moment in, in episode eight where i was lying on top of a sort of a, a ladder formation and i was doing some behind the scenes footage uh, i was like oh this is a cool angle it's, on, it's at a tennis court and a lot of stuff going on in that scene uh, and, and sort of the, the people wanted to move the ladder and they know, oh, the producer's up there. <laughs> you know, so they're like, so I started shaking because that wasn't very, it wasn't a rigged, you know, uh, ladder. Uh, so that was kind of <laughs> creepy for me. Yeah, <laughs> I think just the whole, because we didn't shoot any of it in studio, like one day of a studio and the rest is just on set. 
and they built the sets up so everything was real and everything you could step into to stuff and you can go down in the ground through a hole and it's like it was really like stepping into this strange universe uh, for real and being like in this kind of fairy tale all of the time so I think just like the whole shooting was so special and uh, so, so I don't think I have like one particular scene it was like Sometimes you could just look up and be like in this magical forest and with this fog and like be like, oh my god, this is so beautiful. You know, when you like step out of your character and realize that this is so beautiful. Remember, you know, this feeling and this this particular like setting because, you know, you don't know if you're ever going to see something like this again. So it was really like uh, meeting nature, connecting with nature, even for us who made it because we're out so much and out in this you know, amazing magical setting, you know. It's like the, the, the melancholy, I think Swedish culture has some sort of melancholy in it, or very sweet, or very, you know, we have like this mixture of, of like kind of um, sad emotions with beauty, bit. and that's something I think our culture is like composed of sometimes, with all of our myths and fairy tales and um, and uh, I think yours got really has that kind of mixture between both. Uh, I'm a fan of uh, uh, Christopher Nolan. Yes, uh, his films I think are really great, and, and uh, I think he is one of the few that um, can really create a story from. Uh, uh, he makes sort of. Um, it, it, it's, a lot of people go to watch it. I mean, it's it's sort of commercialized, but also has a deep meaning into it. Uh, and he does all these mind tricks with your head, which I love. You know, yeah, Inception, Interstellar, uh, the Prestige—they're all really great. I mean, he also took. I think pretty much he alone took the superheroes to the next level. Like 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 if you, all the superhero movies before he stepped into the worst, yeah, you know, dorky. And then he's like, well, hey, let's do it, you know, dark. What a pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so uh, that is his films and his work uh, truly inspiring. Yeah. I, I totally agree that I really love uh, Lars von Trier, you know, the Danish director. Uh, he's such a genius. And every movie he has ever made is, like, mind-blowing. Um, so, I would, and he also had this kind of Bergman way of um, choosing his leading ladies and really giving them amazing uh, things to do as a character and like really pushing them. And um, yeah, so I would say Lars von Trier. Yeah.